What's up guys, welcome to your 39th tutorial in After Effects. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called motion tracking. Now what motion tracking is, is it allows you to, it allows you to take one layer, such as this text right here, and have it follow along with something on the screen. And what I'm going to be doing is taking the movement of my head, as it bobbles all around the screen, and attaching this text to it so it follows along with it. And this is how they use special effects to let's say you have a video clip of something and you want to edit something in like a 3D animation or a text like I'm doing or any solid object this is how they do that so it's incredibly difficult to explain through just talking but once you see it you'll be like oh nice because it is nice so let's go ahead and the first thing you need is a video clip and I got this video clip of me talking to the camera about something and I also have a solid object that is my name in hot pink for viewing purposes so once we have a video clip which we're going to track and a solid that we want to attach to it we also need another null object layer so go ahead up to layer new null object and what this is going to do is create the information or store the information to track it's pretty much going to hold all the keyframes which you've seen in a little bit Next, you want to go ahead and open your tracker control panel right here and go ahead and select the layer that you want to track. Now this is the layer that moves that you want to store the position from. So it should be your main video clip. And once you have this selected, go ahead and click track motion. Now you can see that everything else disappears like your text layer and everything else. This is because you don't need that now you only want to work with the track motion from here so as you can see you got your composition panel right here in this new layer that you can track motion so go ahead and um, get this little track point and highlight it all and move it over to a point that you want to track now I don't want to track um, my eye or anything because my eye is going to be blinking and closing and I don't want to be tracking anything in the background that my head's going to cover up I want to track something that's going to stay the same the whole time. So either my eyebrow or my nostril, which I'm going to, or maybe my chin or something. Something with high contrast so Adobe can pick it up easily. Now, let me go over what these boxes mean. This middle box right here that you can move around is going to get the data that um, you can track pretty much. In this outside box right here, this is a search box this is gonna search for all the pixels again you can make it really big but it's gonna take a longer time to track so you usually want to get it as small as you can to give it a small search area so it knows where to look so now that we have um, I'll go over these boxes more in a little bit but pretty much you need to know to put this point where you want to track this is a quick tutorial don't don't forget and now once you have that set up go ahead and click this uh, play button and it's going to go ahead and track that motion uh, go ahead and click it it's called analyze forward so click it and as you see the box moves along with my head now go ahead and after a little bit or however long you want just press stop and now we have this huge path that attract the pixels and if there's one pixel sometimes one pixel gets like way off maybe it would track my eye for like a half a second just go ahead and move that keyframe back but this one looks pretty good so we got the motion path just like we would if we keyframed it all out but this is a lot easier way to do this now how do we apply this motion to our, to our null object layer well what we want to do is go ahead and put edit target and by default it's top layer but if not go ahead and click your null layer then click OK and now go ahead and once you have that target selected go ahead and click apply and go ahead and click OK and now once you see in our null object layer we get this new position let me minimize this right there we get this new position tracking right here so now as you can see our null object now moves along with that frame or excuse me that uh, path right there so if we're saying alright we got the null object to move along with my head but how do we get the title to move along with my head well that's easy anytime you want a title to stick to a null object all you have to do is highlight the title right here and click parent 
and click whatever you want it to parent to. So let me go ahead and and now I'll show you our final composition. So look up here and I will play this animation for you. It's playing, it didn't get the position yet, and now once it hits it, our title now moves along with my head just like we wanted it to. And then that's where I stop keyframing and that's where it stops. So that is how you can pretty much add um, special effects to move along with an image after you already shot it. Again, let me play that one more time. Um, not keyframed yet. And now it's attached to that motion track. And watch how the title moves along with my head. So instead of having the keyframe that frame by frame and creating a real annoying path, this is a real easy way called motion tracking. And again, don't forget tracker controls, track motion. When you uh, get your null object, edit the target to the null object and then apply it. And then it puts that position keyframes in your null object. And this is uh, real useful because when you do this, you can put a bunch of things parent into that null object. So again, we're probably going to be going over this uh, a little more in the next tutorial, but I just want to give you guys a real quick tutorial on how to do it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Shouldn't have hit my microphone there, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.